some keto advocates just published some of the most shady nutrition research I've seen in years. I'm sure you've all seen headlines suggesting that a keto diet doesn't raise heart disease risk and that cholesterol levels don't predict risk. Well, not so fast. The researchers behind this one have been very slimy, to put it mildly, and maybe doing untold amounts of damage to people's health. But let's start by describing the study. This was an observational study where people who were following a ketogenic diet were recruited largely through social media. Some people may have misinterpreted this to be a clinical trial because they do use the word trial in the title, which I think was very deliberate. They measured a number of markers, including non-calcified plaque volume at baseline, and again a year later. But if we look at the abstract or even the full paper, they don't report the non-calcified plaque volume numbers anywhere. The closest they get is providing this figure, which might give you a headache if you tried to figure out what the average increase was. This is very odd since change in non-calcified plaque volume was listed as their primary outcome in their pre-registration. So when they were designing the study, they had that as their main result in mind. So really, it should be front and center. Instead, they decided to report that ApoB and LDL cholesterol levels were not significantly associated with plaque progression, which was listed nowhere in their pre-registration. And it's not even that surprising that LDL cholesterol levels weren't associated with plaque progression because everybody in this study had high LDL cholesterol levels. They didn't have a control group with low LDL cholesterol levels to compare to. In fact, they didn't have a control group at all. And based on our prior knowledge of the topic, if we had a larger range in LDL cholesterol levels, I would assume that those with higher levels would have more progression than those with the low levels. But the take home here is that they essentially hid their primary outcome results and instead focused on other values that they could use to play the PR game and spin it to promote their dietary dogma. However, if we dig into the supplementary data, which most people won't, we can see that this relatively health conscious population following a ketogenic diet had as much or greater increases in overall plaque volume than even unhealthy populations following a standard American diet. It doesn't look good for them. On top of that, after tons of pressure from other researchers, the people behind this study finally released their primary outcome in a tweet. You heard that right. And it showed that these keto dieters had about four times the increases in non-calcified plaque volumes that we see in healthy populations. So I think we can all see why they changed course and tried to hide their main results. A title like a ketogenic diet leads to rapid progression of atherosclerosis in lean mass hyperresponders probably doesn't have the type of PR potential they were hoping for. So here's hoping these researchers are held accountable and I would advise everybody to exercise caution when reviewing any additional publications that come out of this camp. They've clearly shown they're willing to bend the science to suit their ideology.